A lot of people don't realize just how close Donald Trump was to losing his life as look at the guy right there. That is him. He is at a Kamal Harris rally being busted. Now compare that to the footage of him being arrested after the assassination attempt. You can see he's likely wearing the same shirt. Not only the same guy, wearing the same article of clothing. There's not even plausible deniability here. They are getting kind of sloppy. This was clearly an inside operation. This guy not only was acting as a military operative for the CIA and other powerful groups, trying to recruit people to Ukraine, including people from multiple parts of the Middle East, recruiting soldiers at a high level, getting their phone numbers, getting them to come and fight as mercenaries for Ukraine. Well, ask yourself why an American with no ties to Ukraine would be going there and recruiting fighters, including from places like the Middle East. Does that make any sense at all to you? Unless, of course, this guy is a deep state operative who's working with the CIA in coordination with top levels of the United States government to try to carry out this massive military industrial complex operation in order to enrich themselves, while of course simultaneously destabilizing multiple parts of the world and allowing people to come in and buy the farmland, major US corporations that are controlled in large part by BlackRock, the rabbit hole goes very deep. The same ties there, the same connections are what led to this assassination attempt. Clearly, they worked together. That is how this guy knew that Trump was going to be there and he was waiting for 12 hours in advance, despite the fact it was considered a last minute golf trip by Trump. 12 hours ahead. That doesn't happen unless you have inside information. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. A group of people working together, the elites trying to stop Trump. And again, the last one hit his ear. This one was as close as you can get without any shots being fired. The Secret Service agent was extremely lucky to see that barrel in behind the fence. Most likely, if he had hidden slightly better, Trump would not be with us right now. Trump was only a matter of holes away. This guy had been able to sneak onto the course with almost no recourse. There were no drones in the air, which by the way, there absolutely should be. They were looking infrared and trying to see if anyone was there. It was just one individual who spotted him and tried to fire at him from clearly some sort of a distance. And if that didn't happen, if he had just had some sort of additional camouflage, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. We'd be having a much different one. So let's celebrate the fact that Trump is still alive and continue to expose the truth of how evil these people are. Trump absolutely must win. Early voting is starting. Go and do that right now. Beauty. Yeah.